Hi, welcome to my channel. This is my first unboxing video and the first video for my computer hardware channel. What we are looking at today is the Intel TS-15A. Um, as many of you may know, Intel does not include a heat sink or fan when you purchase a K-series CPU. They want you to provide your own. Um, part of that is uh, a cost-saving measure by Intel. And the other part is that, as you know, K-series CPUs um, are designed without a lock on the processor, and they are meant for people who wish to overclock. Now, I am not going to be overclocking my K-series CPU, but the reason that Intel does not include a heatsink is they do not want to include something with a K-series CPU and say, here, overclock it, and have somebody complain that the thermal solution that Intel provides with the CPU uh, is not enough when you overclock it. Um, at least that's what I see, is it's basically Intel saying, provide your own cooling, and when you burn up your CPU, it's on you. Um, I could be wrong about that. Either way, this is sold separately. And... Um, although I am not overclocking my K-series CPU, um, I did notice the other day that under load, it approaches 100 degrees Celsius. Um, it is an i9-9600K. And I'm sorry, I misspoke. It is an i5-9600K. And it approaches uh, 80C at idle, 100C under load, with a standard Intel cooling solution. Now, part of that might be that it was used. Um, either way, we are going to be removing that cooling solution today and installing this. So, let's get started by seeing what is in the box. Looks like a standard push pin design, which I know some of you might prefer the screw on design, I prefer the push pins because you don't have to remove the motherboard and install a back plate. You can just install this without having to remove the motherboard. It comes with the installation instructions and a three-year limited warranty. It's actually pretty good considering this thing was only See if I can. Okay. I might have opened up the wrong side. No. No, I opened up the right side of the box.
So you have some thermal paste already applied. I'm going to use the plastic uh, protector here too. So, I mean, that is quite a bit taller than the heat sink I am using now. So let's get my computer up on the bench or table, if you will, and get this uh, heat sink installed. And so there we have it. It is installed. The reason I didn't want to film it is because I do not have anything to hold the camera and I needed both hands to apply enough pressure to get a new heat sink like this installed with the push pins. So now that it's installed, we're going to fire it up and check out the temperatures. Bear in mind, these are temperatures running at stock. So you can see we are starting out at basically idle, 27C, uh, 46X processor core ratio, and running the benchmark. Now basically, I'm just looking at the temperature here. So, this did a much better job One thing I want to try is upping the power limit and running the benchmark again. So it does a much better job of cooling. So if you're looking for an easy to install, approved by Intel solution for your K-series processor, or even for a processor that's not a K-series, but maybe deserves a little bit more cooling, um, I would definitely go with this. Uh, it has to be the easiest to install, uh, good quality heat sink that I have used in a long time. I hope you liked my video. If you did, please like it and hit subscribe. 
if there's anything that you would like to see different about future videos, put that down in the comment section. Have a nice day.